What's going on, Crafty Nistas? In today's tutorial, we're going to take materials from the Dollar Tree to make a mirror, a vanity mirror for $13. Mine's going to have a little bit of enhanced bling, but you don't have to add that if you don't want to. We're going to take the poster board from the Dollar Tree and cut it. Um, I think I cut mine at 20 inches. Then we're going to take these LED push lights. I used eight of these for this project. I'm going to take triple A batteries. Um, those were a pack of 10. I used three packs for that. You're going to need three of the batteries for each light. Then you're going to take a mirror from the Dollar Tree. Right here, I'm just adjusting my mirror. I should have actually took measurements and penciled in where I wanted it to go um, in my final project. If you're from a little OCD side and he says, oh, it's not totally straight, but it looks looks good. Um, this is the bling I used. It's Robert Stanley collection. It was from the Hobby Lobby store. Um, Hobby Lobby has lots of bling in the floral department. So, um, if it's not on sale, you can use a 40% off coupon. Um, if it's on sale, it'll be 50% off if they still have this bling. So I'm just going to take my glue gun and get the board down pretty good. If your edges are rough, it really doesn't matter because you're going to cover it with the bling. And if you don't use the bling, it doesn't matter because you could cover around there with the lights. Um, more. I'm just going to press down my glue onto my trim. And I'm going to size it up to make sure this is where I want it to go. Then I'm going to reinforce down. This trim is a little bit more heavier weight um, than the string lights bling that you could get at the Dollar Tree. So to use this as a mirror, I'm going to have to go ahead and reinforce the edges um, all around this bling. Then I'm going to keep on reinforcing. See how those edges just need a little bit of smoothing out before I go to the other side. I want to go to the opposite side that way you can meet in the middle and make sure that everything's even instead of just going to the next side and having your opposite side not come cohesive. So then I'm going to go ahead and put some more glue down on this opposite side. Drizzle it down real good. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my bling, shift it a little bit. You have to go quickly. And go ahead and get that down. Then I'm going to go ahead and reinforce those sides again. Those end pieces are the ones that can really use that backup glue. So once my side is reinforced real good, I'm going to go ahead and look for a piece, get it cut, and work on the middle. 
once you get one side cut, you can go ahead and cut the other side the same length at the same time. They're going to be the same length that you're going to need for each side in the middle. Then just reinforce and making sure that the mirror is going to look good with the lights on the side. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue down again. The insides. And I'm going to go ahead and going to go ahead and work this through and come back what we do here is go back 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 back, back, back. So now that those sides are down, I'm going to go ahead and take my glue gun and glue the back of the mirror. I took off the sides of the mirror. It would have been a little bit too heavy and too thick. Um, I used the mirror right flat to the board itself. So this mirror is nice and glued. And I'm going to flip it over and try to even it in. Like I said, if I knew what I knew now I probably would have measured it just for that little voice that says that it needs to be perfectly even but other than that it looks pretty good just by eyeballing it now I'm just gonna take a piece of paper towel and just to reinforce it being stable trying to push it down without actually getting fingerprints all on the mirror. And I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to run it through the bottom of the mirror and I'm going to reinforce all sides and get it real stuck in good so that the mirror will not come up after the product is finished. I'm just going to turn it around and to check each side just to make sure that their mirror is not coming up. And run my glue along the sides, turning it each way.
Next, I'm going to go ahead and get my lights. I've already prepped the rest of the lights. Turn over the battery cover and insert the batteries into the lights. Then the project will be complete just with the mirror and the lights on the side, like I said. But knowing me, I have to add a little extra to it. So I'm going to go ahead and use some bling. Some bling from my stash. So it wasn't any additional money for me. But they sell the individual blings like this anywhere, everywhere. You can actually get the ones um, that do have stickers. They're cheap. Even in a bag that don't have the sticky back to them, you can get those at Walmart. You can just use actual glue gun and glue those in um, if you prefer. But the rhinestones can be found anywhere um, with the stick glue on the back or not. And you don't have to use that. Like I said, it's up to you. Spacing them out when you get to the middle and depending on the size with these rhinestones, I didn't end up perfect. So I spaced out the last few just so I can get a good look of them being cohesive around. Then I'm going to go ahead and line them up. Take the sticker off for extra adhesive. And then going ahead and gluing them down to the mirror. And that's the end of the video. If you have gotten this far and watched, you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button on the right hand corner at the end. And until next time, see you later, Crafty Nistas.